Yeah, and I, I guess I kind of ask that question because things like large public venues come to mind, right? Where you do have everybody attaching to a lot of the common things that you're talking about. So that's where uh, duplicates for network engineers, myself, you, everybody else, duplicates scare you, right? <laughs> you don't want duplicates. And having, you know, dealing with dynamic IP space has been, it can be enough of a headache as it is. But now you want to do it dynamic addressing at layer two. That's a little bit more scary because what you start to introduce at that level becomes a little more terrifying, right? especially when nobody's had to troubleshoot that before, right? Have you ever had to troubleshoot duplicate Macs on a network ever? I haven't. Um, because before now they were every device was using a burned in one. And I've, I've heard a story actually about a pallet of computers that was built and shipped from the factory. And what they realized is after that happened, they realized they had a, a glitch and the device that was supposed to put the next Mac address on the next device got stuck. And so they built an entire pallet of computers. <laughs> <laughs> that all of them had, and this was for the, this wasn't for Wi-Fi. This was for the ethernet. So the ethernet NIC on a pallet of desktop computers was exactly the same. But the thing to remember is a Mac address is only significant on the local network. As soon as you hit that gateway, that default gateway, the Mac headers are stripped off and replaced with the Mac header for the next hop. So they didn't realize that this had happened until one organization happened to buy like eight or 10 of these computers and they all, and they installed them and they were for one group. And so they were all on the same local area network, the same LAN, whether it's a, you know, a wireless local area network or a wired one, you know, as until they were on the same one and they went, wait, it's all broken. And somebody went and did a show I or show Mac address tables command on the switch and went, Oh crap. Yeah. Identical. I mean, they went back <laughs> to manufacturing manufacturers like, Oh crap, we did that. Um, so it doesn't happen very often. So being able to troubleshoot it, I mean, it's just like troubleshooting a lot of other network problems. You, you get this crazy complaint and then you have to, if you, if you follow the same troubleshooting steps, you'll find it eventually. It's just a question of how fast can you figure it out? Mm -hmm.